All right, guys. Well, here's the modern brew house community in process professional DO meter that you can use for any in process measurements, whether it be hot liquor tank deoxygenation, mash uh, DO, boil DO, finished uh, after boil DO, and oxygenation or finished beer. So, what you have here is the transmitter, the Mettler to Toledo transmitter. Uh, right here itself is the DO meter. This DO meter has a sanitary flange uh, TC fitting. Uh, the connection to the DO meter is kind of like a swivel lock connection. So you push this in and you give it a turn like that and it is connected. Over on the, the Mettler Toledo unit, you shouldn't have to mess with any connections or anything like that. But in another video, I will show you how to calibrate this because you will need to calibrate it every time you get it. Um, since this is a sanitary fitting, I realize that not everybody has uh, tri-clamps or, or sanitary fittings. So what I will be including is this T. This T has some um, MPT outs. So with that, you should be able to adapt this to your system. You know, the, the DO meter itself just fits right into this T and it extends right about here so you can get an in-process measurement if you need to or when you're oxygenating you can just dip this in your wart or or recirculate with a pump or, or however you want to do it. Um, things to be concerned or to watch about your membrane is in here and you will unscrew this to replace your membrane. I don't recommend you unscrewing it because you'll need to replace your membrane. Um, it it is uh, has a membrane. It has solution. Just watch out for hitting this tip on things. It's a soft tip, so just just have caution when you're inserting it into stuff and doing things, um, because you could hit that tip and damage the membrane, and then you'll need to replace the membrane. I will be including a membrane and solution for if it does get damaged. That way you have a membrane and solution and you can contact me and we can uh, run through how you do it. But uh, basically how you do it is you'll unscrew this, this flange and or unscrew this and it'll break about right here. It'll come off, you'll see the little membrane. You'll fill the membrane, excuse me, with solution tap out the air bubbles, put it back on and do a calibration. It's really fast, but these membranes are, are very, very uh, durable. Uh, they take about up to two PSI. So if you do have a pressurized system, just note that more than two PSI is gonna squeeze the electrolyte solution out of the, the membrane and it will affect your calibration and you will have to to do that so just keep that in mind don't go higher than you know about one psi you know in the vessel or if you're going to do that as far as the meter it's just going to be a standard connection like this you plug it into the wall um it will turn on it will start reading do You'll want to keep this thing plugged in for about an hour or two before you want to use it. So it'll, it'll be able to stabilize. And um, once that stabilizes and we do a, a configuration, or I'm sorry, a calibration, then you're all set to use this for the day and, and whatever. And then, you know, when you're done using it, um, you don't have to, but I, it's super easy to calibrate. All you do is, you know, hit this calibration button and I'll run through it in another procedure, but it's really easy. Um, so, you know, it takes less than a minute to calibrate. So every time I go to use this, I do calibrate the unit um, just because just for sheer simplicity and, and then you, you don't have to guess. But um, as far as the overview of the in-process DO meter, like I said, sanitary fitting, it can go anywhere. It can be subjected to any temps. So you can really use it to get a feel for your system and your processes, underletting, deoxygenation, you know, boiling, how much oxygen you're left after the, or uh, if you're left with any oxygen after the boil, which means your sulfites have been consumed, which means you may want to up your sulfite dose, 
uh, and you know, we can on that on a thread, we can make a thread for process points to check and stuff like that. So with that said, all you have to do is just plug it into the wall and this T should give you the fittings that you need and everything should be good. So I hope you guys can use this to its fullest capacity and, and figure out your system and be able to uh, repeat it without any questions or concerns.